Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to share with you my favorite jasmine fragrances in my collection. Now, a lot of my fragrances, specifically my florals, have jasmine note in it, but these fragrances are where to me the jasmine either really sings, it's something truly unique, classic, or extra special. So if you'd like to know what fragrances in my collection I think are the most beautiful jasmines around, and then keep watching. <laughs> So I have about seven fragrances I want to talk about with the one ultimate jasmine um, fragrance. So let's start off with um, one that I grew up experiencing, and it's Jessica McClintock. <laughs> Jessica McClintock. This is the fragrance that me, my dad, and my sister would always buy for my mom for Mother's Day, for her birthday. We were always getting her this scent. It smelled really nice on her. And I actually picked up a bottle of this just because it reminded me of my mom. Um, it is a lovely scent. It's soapy, it's very clean, and it does have that headiness of the white floral. But what I love most about this is like I've always very distinctively been able to pick up um, jasmine from this fragrance. So this is um, added to this list purely for nostalgia, but I do really like this fragrance and I do wear it a lot. It's really nice and I just love my mom and it reminds me of her. So. Jessica McClintock, um, Jessica McClintock. What Jasmine video would not be complete without this fragrance in here? And rightfully so, it is fantastic. And it's Shalimar from Guerlain. Now this is rose, vanilla, tonka bean, bergamot, iris, jasmine. On my skin, I get so much jasmine from this, but it's like a warm vanilla jasmine. It's really, really good. Uh, but this is just a beautiful, really distinctive classic very classic um mature scent that just smells just amazing and what i love most about this is a lot of times with a lot of jasmine fragrances it's just mixed in with other white florals or it has a few different things but it's just like a white floral fragrance with maybe a twist here or there shalimar stands on its own as a powerhouse fragrance and it's been around since oh my gosh i think almost 100 years at this point it's a classic but it is not a classic jasmine scent it's got so many other things going for it which just make this stand out but at the same time like it is a strong jasmine fragrance so i really really love this fragrance for that Again, this is the fragrance that my grandma wore, so kind of like Jessica McClint McClintock. Also with this one, I like to wear this just because I have never knew my grandmother. She died, unfortunately, when I was very young, so this is kind of a way that I try to feel close to her when I wear this. Um, on top of it, it just smells gorgeous, and it's one of the most beautiful fragrances I think has ever been created. But the jasmine in this just sings, and so it's just a beautiful jasmine fragrance, so of course it would make it to this list. This is a fragrance that you will see and or have already seen in a lot of my videos. It's from Gorilla Perfumes. It is Lust. This is the older bottle. They have newer bottles. Um, this is a very, they describe this as a carnal jasmine, and I would say that is a perfect description of this fragrance, and the name Lust is perfect. I get stopped every single time I wear this, or near every single time I wear this, by men complimenting my fragrance and asking where they can buy it for their girlfriends uh, or for their wives. They want them to smell like this. It's a very sexy and empowering scent. I like to call it my spicy jasmine because it's like really like a spice, like a cinnamon and the jasmine in here and it's just gorgeous. Um, so if you've never experienced this, go to a Lush store if you have one and try it out. It's definitely worth experiencing. It's a nice inexpensive fragrance and if you're looking for a jasmine fragrance but you want something not so um, classic old worldy, but you want something kind of like new and contemporary and packs a punch, this is definitely it. But this is the old bottle. They have newer bottles now, but yeah, I love it. Next up is Jasmine's Marzipan from Mason Lancome. This to me is the um, almond wood and the jasmine in this is just stunning. I love the way this wears on my skin. It has a beautiful fragrance, excellent projection and longevity. And most of all, this is such a heavy, beautiful, elegant jasmine, while it still has just something in it that packs a punch. Um, and I'm going to say that's the almond wood. If you watched my review of this, I kind of go on and on and on about how much I love the almond wood as it warms up on my skin with the jasmine. Um, some fragrances that have fragrance stories, you know, where they open up and then 
the longer you wear it, the top notes wear away and then you're left with the bottom notes. You never lose the integrity of the jasmine in this fragrance. It is really delicious. It has some gourmand elements to it, which are really nice. And overall, I'd say if you guys want a really beautiful jasmine fragrance, this is definitely a recommendation. I will always stand behind this fragrance. It's gorgeous. Um, I love it. And it's not your normal jasmine either. It's kind of more of a woody jasmine, which is really, really nice. So yeah. Definitely recommend Jasmine's Marzipan. Uh, Bulgari uh, Jasmine Noir is another beautiful jasmine. This is one of my favorite evening fragrances. Um, before I experienced Jasmine Marzipan, this was the closest thing to like a woody jasmine that I got. This does have almond notes. It has, I believe, tonka. Yeah, tonka bean, licorice, uh, jasmine, sap, gardenia, precious woods. Um, I think this is a very easy scent to wear while it's still being very elegant and mature. Um, I love this scent so much. It's one of the easier jasmines to get your hands on. You can pretty much find this anywhere. Um, and it's really easy to wear. It's really beautiful. Um, and I think that if you're looking for a nice evening jasmine scent, this is definitely something I would recommend. I've had this in my collection. Um, I think this is my second or third bottle of it because I do wear this all the time and I really, really love it. So I will always probably repurchase this because it's just one of my staple grab-and-go fragrances specifically for the evening. But the jasmine in this really sings. It's really beautiful and this reminds me very much of the jasmine I used to smell outside of my window, which um, right outside my window growing up there is a night-blooming jasmine bush. I just remember going to sleep and smelling it which is why I really like Jasmine in the evening and then this one holds a special place in my heart. This is Jasmine Rouge from Tom Ford Private Blend. I'm gonna read you some of the notes and then I'll let you know what I think. I did a review on this. I'll link any of these reviews if I did below. Um, but the top notes are bergamot, mandarin, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, black pepper, and white pepper. The heart notes are broom flower, jasmine, neroli, ylang ylang, clary sage. The base notes are Mexican vanilla leather, woody notes, um, um, amber, and labdanum. I wanted to read you all those notes because even in the midst of all of those crazy notes, there's a lot of complexity in this fragrance. It stays true to a jasmine fragrance. You never lose the jasmine. It has this beautiful, like, spicy start, but not spice like cinnamon, although there is a little bit of cinnamon. It's more of like, like a spice market. Um, and then you get into the bright, beautiful jasmine. It's really luxurious, almost velvety. And then later on, you get the other, like, woody notes from it. Um, this is a beautiful fragrance, a absolutely gorgeous fra fragrance. I think it's stunning as I almost dropped the bottle. And one of my absolute favorite jasmine fragrances ever. Obviously, it made this list. Um, if you love jasmine fragrances and you've tried them all, definitely give this one a whirl if you haven't tried it. I don't think you'd be disappointed. If you love jasmine fragrances, it's hard not to love this fragrance. So I think that this is a fantastic fragrance for jasmine lovers out there. Last but not least is my top pick. This is the jasmine fragrance to end all jasmine fragrances. And you might know what it is if you are on my Instagram because I posted pictures of all the stuff. Um, and if you just love jasmine fragrances, this is always floating around everywhere because it is a stunning jasmine fragrance. Probably the best of the best in my personal opinion. Um, and it's Ala Nui from Serge Luton. So let me read you the notes and then I'll let you know why this is the best of the best. The top notes are green shoots and clove. The heart notes are Moroccan jasmine, Indian jasmine, and Egyptian jasmine. The base notes are white honey, benzoin, and musk. This is a buttery, warm, light, fresh jasmine fragrance. Whenever people can mix any white florals and have them be light and effortless, I am immediately entranced by this because I love white florals, but sometimes they can be too much like a heavy blanket and not much like a refreshing fragrance. Um, so this immediately is chocked full of jasmine, beautiful jasmine, um, and the honey and the clove just kind of give this a warmth but you never lose the jasmine in this ever. And it's such just a refreshing, beautiful, whimsical, light, zingy jasmine while still being warm and voluptuous like you would expect from a white floral, specifically with honey notes in it. This is one of the fragrances that I believe you can wear daytime or evening. Um, and definitely, also, I believe all Serge Luton's um, are really good. I don't know. Like, Serge Luton's, I'm going to go on the record here, and I'm just, 
I don't know. I think Serge Luton's is one of my absolute favorite fragrance houses, just in general. Um, not niche, not designer, not luxury, not affordable, just in general. Serge Luton's gets me so excited and so happy, and this is absolutely no exception. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, and the jasmine in here is just gorgeous. So I think that this is the ultimate jasmine fragrance, the mother of all jasmines, the jasmine to end all jasmine fragrances, is most definitely, according to me, in my opinion, a la nuit from Serge Luton. I'm kind of a jasmine fanatic, so if you guys have any recommendations of your favorite jasmine fragrances, let me know below! I am always looking for a beautiful jasmine fragrance, so let me know. I'd love to know your picks and what you love the most. Um, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, and I'm free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well, so I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye!